Okay, so hi. Um, for my birthday, I got a Cryptex from the Noble Collection site, and before I had ordered it, I had been looking everywhere, all over YouTube, for videos on it to see what it would be like once, once I got it. And I found very few. So I decided to make a video of my own, so that if someone decides to go looking for one, they can see what it's like, and decide if they, it's worth the money. <laughs> um, when I got mine, it came in this box, and the box is absolutely gorgeous, and it's made from real wood, and uh, I'll show you it. Um, this is a comp in my hand, so it's pretty large, and the sides are like that. It has the same on both sides. And um, the clasp is like no lock or anything, it's just a clasp, and pretty much, pretty simple. And it has that, um, the rose. So to open it, you just lift up the clasp, and it opens. And inside there is padding, as you can see here, um, so that your Cryptex doesn't get scratched or anything like that. And that's very nice. So putting the box aside, which we shall do for now, I will show you the Cryptex. And one thing that I was very surprised was the weight. I was expecting it to be really light, like I didn't want it to be light, but I was thinking, okay, it's probably going to be light. So I was so surprised how heavy it is. It's unbelievable. You didn't think this could be that heavy. Picture picking up like a, one of those snow globes at Christmas, like the medium-sized ones, the ones that you shake, and it's probably about the heaviness of that, and it's very heavy. Um, and the box is relatively light, like maybe a medium-sized cell phone probably the lightness of the box, so it's not super light, but it's not heavy. So, but the Cryptex is for sure very, very heavy. And it's made out of metal, die-cast metal, which is very impressive. And this detail on the ends, so gorgeous. Definitely worth it. I adore it, by the way. If I would definitely pay this money three times the amount to get this again. And you can see the, um, the uh, dials, they, um, I'm going to put this down so you can see. They um they click. Not very much, but click enough kind of thing. And um the only thing is is when you're putting a code in, sometimes one dial moves the others cuz they stick together, see like that. But it's not that bad. If I go from this side, it's not that bad. So um but um yeah, it's really neat. So again, and on the sides of it, try to get the light. You can see the detail on there as well. And it's really neat, the dials are, they don't look like they're made of plastic, but when you take it apart and you look at it, they, um, I think they are. But it's more like, um, it's pretty durable plastic. Anyways, they look really aged, like, it's hard to see on the camera, but just trust me when I say they look like they're aged, like they have white spots and then darker spots, as if it's actually marble. So that's very impressive, I like that a lot. And, um... And you can put your own password in. I'll show you how. First, I'll put my code in. Um, I changed it to um, David because I made a found a, a riddle up, and the answer was David. So um, I'll put it in for you. You have to line them up to here. And the only thing is you have to be careful to line it up perfectly. The letter has to be so perfectly lined up, and you have to tug pretty hard. But that's good because then people aren't going to just guess and try and get through it. You have to make sure they know the code. And so B... A. Hope you can see what I'm doing here. A. Then D. Um. And it's not opening. Give me a second. It's always tricky. Oh dear. One time that I try and open it on camera. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here it is. And it's open, and it doesn't really spring. Oh, dear. I'll just hold that. It doesn't really spring open. You have to tug a bit, but it's not st stuck or anything like that. And when you pull it out, you can see... I'll let that roll down. The five things that make it work, they have to line up on there to make it work. So you see those, and then I just put paper inside it, um, as you can see. Here, I put this 
down again. It's hard to do it carrying a curved X at the same time. And I just can pull it out. So it has quite a bit of room inside. It has no vial, I know, but the only thing is, is if that vial broke while it was being transported, then your whole cryptex would be ruined, so it'd be a waste of money. So it's a good thing they didn't put a vial in. And, um, it has no device that would break the vial either. So, um, yeah, it's just pretty standard. But, um, this is metal too, and it's quite heavy as well. And it comes apart, it stands up, and yeah, that's pretty neat. So now, you can see the inside of the cryptex. It's like that. And it fit quite a bit, and this is how you change the password. See that, um, the screw? There's three of them, and you'd unscrew them, and then each individual ring of stuff comes off, and you put it whatever letter, you assign each letter to the little notch, and that's how you change it, and it's pretty simple to change. I mean, I wouldn't go changing it every day, I've only changed it once so far, but, um, kind of fear of breaking it. <laughs> so, um, but yes, it's very, very nice, and it's heavy, and I move these things again, so I'll be able to put it back together. But, um, See, I did put it back together. Yes, anyways. But yeah, we'll pretend it's back together. So, and this paper I put in is just my own paper. I put riddles in it in case someone does open it and they like riddles. That's just my own paper. It doesn't come with any paper in it. But it does come with this little screwdriver to, um, to unlock it. And a really neat thing that they don't advertise about this is about the box is, remember in the movie how this thing comes out? Well, in fact, it actually does. So I'll show you here. See, you open it up. There's the inside of it. See, there's a little tiny pinhole. So I'm just using a tack. If I can see, there we go. You just push, so it pops. Then you, see? There's magnets, those are magnets holding it on. It's metal. And unfortunately, it doesn't have it etched onto the back. Um, and it, this is metal. And um, I think they should have if they went through all the trouble to do this. But they didn't, so that's that. But I'm thinking maybe getting inscribed, because you can do that in metal shops. Something about that. And that'd be pretty. And see, it just sticks on like that with magnets. It fits right in perfectly. See, it's back on, and you have no idea. It doesn't come off. You can't pry it off the top. You have to go in with the back. And, um, yes, here's just the case. I really like the ends. Like, it looks like the wood is almost, like, charred or burnt. And it's not. It's just the way the wood is, but it's so pretty. So, um, yeah, that's that for the Cryptex. Here it is. Not back together because I'm pretty lazy. But, uh, definitely worth the money. If you're a fan and think, and this is your sort of thing, definitely worth it. It's my favorite thing now. I adore it. So, um, yeah, that's that. Thanks for watching.